am so fucking angry with that bitch, Gina. Hey besties, and welcome back to my shit show. If you're new, my name is Black Serum, and how are we doing today? Are we sad? Happy? Let me know in the comments, y'all. I went to a supermarket yesterday at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and I saw a bunch of elementary school kids. And there was a girl, she was walking towards me and she was walking and eating snacks at the same time. I look at her, I was like, use. I wish there's a time machine so I can go back and relive my life like I was in elementary school. Oh my god! Okay, have you ever thought about what's the difference between a regular cop and a detective? Or, what's the difference between FBI and CIA? Big no mail. Well, I did. Growing up, I was always fascinated. Why are these government agents have so many titles? Since I talk about crime cases, and I often get those questions from some audience, so I figured I'm gonna make a video so in the future, when somebody ever asks me this question again, I'm gonna direct them to this video. Period. Curiosity killed the cat and satisfaction brought it back. Being the inquisitive person that I always am, I did some digging. So in today's video, let's talk about who they are. So without further ado, let's get started. A police officer. Honestly, there isn't really much to talk about police officer because every country has their own police officers. A cop is a licensed and a commissioned peace officer whose job involves protection of citizens and properties and enforcement of all laws. For example, LAPDs, NYPDs, Chicago PDs, all across the United States. This is barely scratching the surface, but today we're only going to talk about who they are and what they do. They're hired by particular jurisdiction, and their criminal authority is defined and limited by the state. Same as in China, each city has its own police department and police officers. They're usually licensed by the state, and their training is also prescribed by the state. They can investigate and enforce federal laws as well as state statutes and local ordinances such as misdemeanors and traffic offense. It could be a traffic officer that pulls you over and tells you that your tail light is off or they can drive around and supervise the neighborhood. But usually when there's someone dying or there's a crime happening, they will pass it down to a detective. What is a detective? A detective is a higher rank for a patrol officer that includes additional duties. Detectives focus primarily on solving crime investigations. They can make inquiries related to police reports to interview suspects and victims or violent or serious crimes. Detectives can consult with forensic scientists to learn the facts of a crime. And additionally, they can also interrogate suspects and testify in court as expert witnesses. So a detective and an investigator, they are higher ranks than a regular patrol officer. But FBI, on the other hand, they're much deeper than that. FBI stands for Federal Bureau of Investigation, founded in 1908 by Charles Bonaparte. Him and the president, Theodore Roosevelt, decided that the Justice Department needed a core of special agents. They didn't really come up with the name until 1935, so for two decades, FBI didn't really have a name. The FBI has divided its investigation into a number of programs, such as domestic and international terrorism, foreign counterintelligence, organized crimes and drugs, public corruption, money laundering, and so many more. The FBI's investigative philosophy emphasis on close relations and sharing information with other federal, state, local, and international law enforcement. You're probably gonna be like, what the fuck is that? What? Let me give you an example to help you understand better. Let's just say you robbed the bank and you decided to make a run for it with your car. While you're driving, obviously the bank already caught the cops and they're now behind you. So you decided to play Grand Theft Auto with them and because you are such a great driver, they're not able to catch you. After five hours of driving, you're now in Los Angeles, the city of Angel. So the town police has to stop. Tell them to stop because this is out of their jurisdiction. This is when LAPD steps in because you're now in their territory. But you, on the other hand, you are so determined. You were like, ain't nobody going to catch me today, bitch. And because you were the winner of Tokyo Drift, and they're not able to catch you. After another five hours of driving, you cross the border. So you are now in Mexico. This is when FBI steps in because congratulations, you just became an international criminal. Does it make sense now? They all have different jurisdictions. That's why when people commit a crime, 
they fucking run. The FBI's headquarters is located in Washington, D.C. and has more than 56 field office and 350 smaller office. It also has 60 office globally and there's more than 35,000 employees. Being an FBI agent means you need to have a specialty and expertise. For example, if you know how to speak a foreign language, you know how to manipulate technologies, you have scientific backgrounds, etc. Because there are more jobs in the bureau than just being an agent. Computer scientists, lab technicians, cyber securities, forensics, accountants, what else? Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, language experts. You know, there are so many jobs. You don't have to be chasing criminals all the time. It could also be a desk job. And many of you might wonder how to become an FBI agent. There are many tests that require you to take in order to become an FBI agent, which I will talk about it in a sec, but the prerequisite of being an FBI agent is you need to be an American citizen, not even a resident, American citizen, which means you need to have that blue passport. You must be at the age of 23 to 37, having a four-year degree, three-year working experience, and a driver's license. There are physical tasks, a weapon tasks, a medical check, a background check, and a polygraph to pass. And there's also a 20-week training in Quantico, Virginia. And if you can still pass everything after all this shit, well, congratulations, you are now an FBI agent. FBI versus CIA. CIA stands for Central Intelligence of Agency. There are some overlapping jobs between FBI and CIA, but they focus more on national securities rather than domestic crimes. And that includes terrorism, weapons, and mass destruction. Usually it's more polit... Usually it's more politically involved, such as spying and cyber intelligence. CIA was created in July 26, 1947. One of the main reasons to create CIA was the Pearl Harbor incident. And the CIA claims that they never monitor US citizens unless you have terrorist activities. The requirements of getting into CIA are quite similar, just like FBI. Most CIA agents are at the age of 26 to 35, having university degree, working experience and multilingual, speaking more than one language. But in CIA, you can actually work as an intern for 90 days to see if you're a right fit for that position. Working as a CIA agent, the most important thing is secrecy, which means that you cannot tell your friends, your family, or anybody that you know that you work for CIA. Unlike working for FBI, you don't have to hide it if you're an FBI agent. And now let's discuss how much money do they make. A new FBI's agent salary is approximately $47,000 annually, and a senior FBI's agent salary is around $130,000. A CIA agent salary, on the other hand, is roughly between $74,000 to $137,000. These are just the numbers that I pull from the internet. It might vary, but you would have thought they made more. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.